Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Listen, I'm glad to have you guys here on this Wednesday, the 4th of November, 2020. You know what? I went to bed last night thinking to myself that I'd get up this morning and there, and I'd know who won the election in the United States. So I got up this morning, turn the news on, and I, there's no winner. It's like right they're involved in counting votes, votes and everything else, you know, and uh, it's a strange situation, and this is kind of like the doomsday scenario I was thinking about maybe a week ago. What if it? What if it's a tie? And what if there is no clear-cut winner or anything? And America's already divided. This would just enhance that, you know. And and that's what's going on right now. Is no clear-cut winner. Uh, this is a terrible situation. Anyway, let's get started. Let's open up the charts right here. And take a look at what's going on. The first thing I want to show you guys is this. United we stand, divided we fall. This is an old poster, you know. But it shows on the divided side what happens if, if a country is completely divided. United we stand, divided we fall. Most people just know that as united we stand. United we stand. The second part is divided we fall. America's divided right now. Well, whose fault is that? Well, the voters, it's not their fault. They turned out in record numbers. They did their job as they're supposed to do, you know. And uh, <clears throat> I, I'm going to tell you guys what. This situation is bad, and it could evolve into something much, much worse very, very quickly. Uh because the country right now is divided. And, you know, during the last election when Hillary and, and Trump, they thought that was close. That wasn't close like this. This is much, much closer. Much, much closer. And it shows that, uh, that America is just about 50-50 right now. R seriously. And this is a really bad, dangerous situation that we've gone into right now. With America divided like this. Uh... Ideologies, they're divided on ideologies even, you know? Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the uh, silver price today and see what it's doing. $23.84. It's down 34 cents on the day. Uh, so far, and uh, so it's 23.84 for silver. Let's take a look at gold here. See what gold's doing today. Gold is eighteen ninety three. It's down fourteen dollars and sixty cents. You know, with this kind of turmoil in the world, and this being the the premier safe haven asset, uh, why is the market so risk on right now? I mean, this doesn't make sense. This is not a risk on environment right now, but the markets are risk on. And and uh, and the thing is, is this whole thing could just turn around, and I'm going to tell you, the markets would fall like stone if if something happens that that they, is unexpected. And well, for me, this whole thing was unexpected. I expected to wake up this morning and find out who won the election in the United States. I never expected this. Anyway, I'm going to be watching the news to try to find out later and see see if the votes come in. And we'll see what happens, you know, and see see if the things change later. But as of right now, I think it's all tied up. Okay, let's take a look now at cryptocurrencies. <clears throat> 406.9 billion. I'm going to tell you guys what. Crypto's doing really, really good. Uh, gold's down today. Silver's down today. But crypto's up. Uh, and it's up almost 407 billion. It's finally cracked through that. 13.9 range was in. It's 14,123. You know, she's heading up toward her all-time highs. Right now, it's charging. Uh, cryptocurrency's looking really good, you know. You know, all these people out there who talk about Bitcoin say, well, it's going to disappear, it's going to do this, it's going to do that. It, it's, it's turning out to be one of your more stable places to have your money. Quite seriously, that's what it's starting. It's stability's coming into it, and the price doesn't drop that much. The price just seems to keep going up. Uh, anyway, in, a, in an unsecure world, Bitcoin is turning out to 
th this is just beyond bizarre. Everything is starting to go beyond bizarre. Don't, don't you notice? You know, uh, in the past few years, this is why I did that show yesterday, saying we should go back to the, what it was like in the 1800s, when everything was stable. We had stability in our lives. You know? Right now, everything's gone gone haywire. Okay. Dow Jones Industrial Average today. It's 816 points. That's one of the biggest up days I've ever seen. 2.97% just on today alone. 28,261. Like I say, it's a risk-on environment right now. They're, they're treating it like, like, uh, like there's stability and certainty in the markets. You know, markets hate instability and uncertainty, and that's what we got is instability and uncertainty. We don't have, I mean, I don't know what's going on with this whole thing. Okay. Crude oil today, 38.95. So it's heading back up toward the $40 mark where it was for the longest time. If we look at it over a one year chart here, you know, we can see this long stable plateau of it hanging in around $40, right? And it's, it's moving back up toward that. It's still on that stable plateau. It started that stable plateau around, around June of, uh, of 2020. And it's been on it ever since. For crude oil. Bonds and rates today. We're looking at some pretty good drops in the bond yields here. Bond yields are falling today. We're looking at a 10 year at 0.77. Now I said they're going to keep it around 0.75, so it's pretty near where I said they're going to keep it. In the US 30 year, I said at 1.5, and it's at 1.55, so they're keeping it right around. But it's dropped like 10 basis points just today alone. You know? The move index is going up. As we can see here, the move index is on its way up. We're looking at uh, up 1.27 points on the day. Uh, it's at 64.37. I figure they're not going to let that move, in, move, move index go over 100. They're going to try to keep it from going over 100. It, it's starting to get up kind of warm now at this point. The higher this goes, the more nervous they get because this could yield a, a freeze in the credit markets, you know. And uh, they're not going to allow that to happen. So we got to keep our eye on this move index. This is a very important index right here. That's why we got it on our show every day. Let's take a look now at uh, U.S. dollar index. And the U.S. dollar index is dropping today, 93.46. It did reach a peak of around 94.25 a couple days ago, and now it's been declining, 93 points. So it's lost a little penny. It has lost a penny. It's lost a full penny. Let's take a look at our funny picture today. Now, remember our last funny picture was a little dog? That's what it was. So you guys that answered it was a dog, you were right on. That was a dog. It was a little, little tiny dog. But now we want to see what puffy cats look like. And which one do you guys think is the cutest? The little little dog, a uh, little puffy dog, or or the or the uh, or the little puffy cat? Because I'm gonna tell you, this little cat's pretty hard to beat. She is awfully cute. <laughs> In a cuteness factor of one to ten, she is pushing a ten. You know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at those cute little ears, the puffy. Oh, she's so cute, you know, I just want to take her home, you know. <laughs> if I was in a pet stop pet store, I think I I think I'd have to take buy that one and take her home with me. She's just so cute, you know. Anyway, listen guys. Thank you for listening to my show. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and uh we'll catch you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.